Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and this video is going to be a little short uh, because this is just one question I was having in mind and I thought a lot of other people might be having the same question so I thought, hey, let me tell you how I answered this question. So these days we have a lot of code assistant with us and no, this is not a paid promotion from another code assistant uh, which is for X amount of money, no, not, not like that. I just have a question which is which was bothering my mind that there are so many coding assistant available. And I use all of them. I use a lot of them. I use GitHub Copilot. Uh, sometime I switch on to Gemini because I want to see how good it is and how can it help me, assist me in writing code. But then I wonder, can I use Llama, Mistral? Which one? Which one? I should. And I, I just want to keep on flipping and switching into different codes and projects to figure out which one is helping me best. Because some of them obviously are a little biased towards uh, X amount of code or some are biased towards Y uh, languages and all of them. This is a genuine biasness because based on the data and the amount that has been trained and some of them don't understand the local context of my project, they just want to give me the genetic result which I can eventually find on the stack overflow as well. But what if I tell you that uh, there is a free uh, productivity tool that I have been using and I have been switching, flipping between ChatGPT to Gemini to my local code base. So I just thought that, hey, it might be useful information for some of you and it's not even a paid product. So, hey, if you are interested in that, keep watching, I'll share you that exactly. So it's really fun. Uh, let me share the screen and walk you through. So whenever I record videos, a lot of people ask me that, hey Tesh, there is this small P at the very top of your application. This is, this is one of my early finding. Uh, I, I found this product in the very early days when it was getting developed. And let me just show you, it, it's a free product and if I launch pieces for developers, this is how it looks like. And let me tell you the secret of it. At the very bottom of it, it's hiding a little just now here. Oh no, here. You can see this. This is a chat GPT-4 turbo preview. But if I can click on this, notice I can use on cloud. Maybe I want to use OpenAI, something from OpenAI. So I can just go for turbo preview. No, I want to use my custom API key. I can do that. Uh, maybe I want to use chat GPT-4 for some reason, not the turbo preview. I can just click and activate. Hey, I want to use it now. Uh, maybe I'm not interested in OpenAI. Now I want to check how the Gemini is doing, which is impressive these days. I tr I was trying it from last what, three days and it's pretty good. It's pretty rock solid. So I can just click on activate. Hey, I'm using Gemini now. <laughs> and you can also go ahead and try the Palm. I haven't tried Palm, but I really want to. Not only that, what makes it much, much more interesting is I can keep all the conversation on my device. It doesn't go into their cloud for the training data. I can go in the Mistral. So, hey, which one you want to use, 7B or 7B GPU? Hey, it can download it, configure it for you. Oh, man, this is so much fun, so much fun. And if with this tool you are not exploring the AI and finding out true capability on your own, I think you are missing a lot of piece because uh, as a YouTuber, I can tell that, hey, you know what I found in my code base that Gemini works better than GPT or GPT works than Gemini. Maybe that's not the case in your code flow or in your system or the code base in which you are working on. So I highly recommend you to try different AI assistant and maybe the one that you are using already, maybe you can switch it or you can keep it as it is. And that might increase your productivity of writing code. You can deliver the things faster. So that's that's all this was bothering me for a long time. But I think now I'm much more settled on Gemini and I keep on switching between the custom. And you will notice, you'll be surprised that the GPT-4 Turbo, and there is a difference between the GPT-4 Turbo and when you use them with your own custom API key. There's a huge difference in the suggestions that comes around in the same code base. Now, since you're using it, uh, let me walk, walk you through that how I actually use it some of the times. Mostly I actually go ahead and ask questions in this, but uh, these days I'm rarely opening this piece of software. I'm actually go all the way into VS Code itself. So in the VS Code, I can just click on this three dots because I have a lot of plugins all around. And I can just ask PE says Copilot and I can just click on it. And notice here, I'll just move this a little bit. I actually gave it a code base that, hey, here is in my directory. And based on the directory, now it has an idea of the context of what you're working on, maybe JavaScript, maybe Python, maybe Java. It can actually ask answer question based on this. And this is all you can do. Like, this is fun. I can just click on the context and I can choose my model. Maybe you want a GPT-4, 3. I can, I can do it all in here. So I rarely open that software. I actually do all of this in the uh, code base. And then I can just set the context. Hey, 
I'll give you folder or I can give you file based on which one you are looking up for and then ask the question based on the context. This is one of my favorite thing. So the whole idea is which I want to convey with this video is don't settle on one. <laughs> That's the general advice for all the AI enthusiasts. Just because we are a fan of one AI, there might be other AI which might be superior but not be that much, that much great in marketing perspective. So it's always a wise idea to explore as much of the AI and the code assistant as you can uh, because these days they are almost all of them are free. Companies are trying them out uh, before all of them get paid or maybe there's a free or paid differences between them just like the chat GPT one is there. Uh, so in the meantime, if we have this opportunity to test them out, try them out, hey, just use this one and test them out. That's my recommendation. Go ahead and explore everything that you can. That's my two bits about the AI code assistant. Uh, why to settle for one when we can explore all of them. That's it for this video. Just a fun video thought to share with you. And let's go ahead and catch up with the next video.